All right, so the next team we have for you guys here today is the uh, Colorado Mammoth Swine, excuse me, coached by Eric, one of my good friends as well, uh, from the NBA. And uh, he has Mega Ampharos, Espion, Gyarados, regular Gyarados, of course, uh, Arcanine, Sableye, Togekiss, and we left Venomoth at home. Uh, now, I do notice something very crucial about this team. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to give it away too much to, to anybody, but there's something missing from it. Anyway, let's just get into a game. Hopefully we can get one or two. This is a much shorter intro than the last video, so if we can get two games, keep it to a short 15-minute video, then that would be awesome. Uh, I've tried out the team a little bit. Hasn't worked the best, so uh, that's probably just me. Uh, I created kind of like a, a baton passing core with uh, Espeon and Ampharos. Basically, you get up a Calm Mind, you baton pass it into, into Mega Ampharos, and then you get up an Agility and you sweep. Because Agility Mega Ampharos is actually a huge threat. Like, just look at my opponent's team and look what it does to him. Uh, gets off a Dragon Pulse on the Latios, Focus Blast the Titar, Thunderbolts the Suicune. Uh, if I get the Metagross and the Lando a little bit weakened, I can straight up sweep with Ampharos, so. Now the problem with doing that is that I have to hit them. <laughs> There's no residual damage coming through, so. Let's lead off with Sableye. Has the best lead against my opponent's team. He leads off with Thunderous. We're especially defensive, we're fine against this. We're just gonna go for a Will-O-Wisp, turn one. Get off a burn. If he's nasty plot, then so be it. He goes for Thunderbolt though. That looks like Specs damage to me. No ground type, unfortunately, so I won't be able to switch out on this. Might be able to go into Ampharos, actually. Because I dual resisted and then I quad resisted on the following turn, so it's not too bad. Could do that. Um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to Ampharos. Should be able to take this, no problem. Only does 38, very nice. And the next one would do even less, so I expect my opponent to want to switch out. Which is why I am just going to go straight for the Dragon Pulse. Well, obviously, I can't go for a T-Bolt in front of a Thunderous. Uh, it'll just gain back health for no reason. Uh, but the Tyra uh, the Tyranitar, the Tyranitar is going to come out. Now, the cool thing is that Agility Ampharos actually outspeeds um, no speed investment Titar, or just a little bit as well. Um, so I could Focus Blast here. As well, I could just switch out into something like uh, Arcanine. Arcanine's not too bad. Uh, I do risk taking a rock move, but it's not too bad, like I just said. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's switch out into Arcanine. If he pursue traps, that's a good play, because uh, I would have been able to go for the Focus Blast here and knock out his T-Tar. He doesn't have uh, any Sand Abusers on his team. He doesn't have an Excadrill, so I'm not too worried about letting this Sling live. Just going to go for uh, Arcanine, get off the Intimidate. He does miss Stone Edge, so that's very unfortunate. But uh, we're going to take full advantage of this. He does seem to be Leftovers. No, he doesn't take Sand Damage. What am I talking about? That's not Leftovers. Um, now, I don't really want to stay in on a Stone Edge right here, but I don't have a good switch. So I think I do just have to Will-O-Wisp right here. As my opponent makes a switch out into Latios, which is fine. We get this thing burned. This is one of the things that I needed 12% off on uh, if I wanted to sweep with, uh, with Ampharos later. So that's not too bad. So... Uh, let's just go for the swap out into Togekiss, I think is fine, as Titar comes back in. Yep, there it is. Very nice. Um, well, very nice for him, not for us. Uh, we should be faster than this thing. I'm just gonna go for an Air Slash. Okay, so he's Scarfed. Cool, good to know. Uh, we do miss the Air Slash, unfortunately, uh, but we do know that our opponent is Scarfed now, so that means I can switch out into Arcanine without too much fear, uh, and then I can pivot out into something else afterwards, so. Let's see what he does. He'll, he'll probably just Stone Edge again. Yep, there it is. And uh, he has to hit another one of these. Now, the thing is, I'm not going to stay in here. I have an Espeon that takes advantage of this thing while it's Intimidated. And I can go for... Uh, and he's locked into Stone Edge. He can't crunch me, but I'm Cold Barberry anyway. So I'm going to go for a Calm Mind here. Uh, as my opponent decides to switch out into Metagross. Good play. Now, I don't think we're faster than this. Uh, but he shouldn't be able to knock me out because I'm max defense. So, what I want to do is I actually want to baton pass this out into Gyarados, because he's going to get the Mega Evolution off first. He's going to do a lot to us, but we are going to be able to pass this into Gyarados. He is now at minus one attack, and uh, if he has Thunder Punch, then he has Thunder Punch. There's nothing much I can do about that, uh, but he does have a, a, a Specs Thunderous, so I don't expect him to have a Thunder Punch right here. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to substitute. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't have it. Let's see. And uh, we should be able to keep this game short. I, I don't think I can win with this team, honestly. <laughs> There's no rocks, okay? There, I said it. There's no rocks. He goes for Hammer Arm, actually. Uh, lowering his own speed, allowing me to set up a sub, which is very nice of my opponent right there. Uh, and now we're going to go for a Waterfall right here. 
trying to flinch him. Let's see if we get it. We do not. He goes for the Zen headbutt. I guess that was like a false sense of security that he was trying to put me under. Uh, I'm just going to go for Waterfall again, honestly. Um, there's no reason to Dragon Dance right now. Because if I can get one flinch, then his Metagross dies. So he's going to pull out the switch into Landorus right here. Going to get the attack drop. That's absolutely fine. We do crit the Waterfall, unfortunately, for my opponent. And uh, we do get hit by Rocky Helmet right there. Uh, what I'm going to want to do is actually set up a substitute because we are faster than Rocky Helmet Lando. We're 271. And if he switches out into Latios, then we can get off a DD. As it hits itself with a Life Orb Recoil from dropping a Draco or going for Psy Shock, so not too bad. The extra Spit F might actually end up helping, especially against uh, against Suicune. We'll see. As my opponent does pull out the switch into Latios, awesome. So he's going to take Burn. He's going to take uh, Life Orb Recoil if he hits us, and uh, we're going to go for a Dragon Dance straight away. As my opponent does go for Psy Shock, awesome. And now we're faster than the Latio, so what we can actually do is, uh, is sub up if we choose to. Um, and I think that is probably the appropriate play. I'm actually going to go for Bounce right here, as my opponent does pull a switch into Titar, very nice. However, he's Scarfed, uh, but he should still be slower than us, so we're going to hit uh, the Bounce first. Do we get the Para? No, we do not, and he does hit the Stone Edge. Alright, so what we have to do here is, I think, uh, get off the Intimidate again. It's probably the best play. Or Sableye. Sableye is not bad. Yeah, I'll go into Sableye, because he's not going to want to get this thing burned. And what I'll actually do is, uh, I think, throw out a knockoff here. That way I can catch the Suicune and get rid of its item. Yeah, let's, let's throw out a, a knockoff. He actually goes into Thunderous, so we're able to get rid of its choice specs, which is awesome. Uh, so now it can't hit us nearly as hard as it did before. And we will just go for a recover, because we are Prankster. He does go for the Thunderbolt. Awesome. He does 50%, not enough, clearly. <clears throat> and is, does he die to burn? No, not yet. Okay, so we'll go for another recover right here. No problem. As he does just throw out another T-Bolt, he doesn't para us, which is nice. The sand ends on that turn, which is also very nice. And we can burn uh, three Pokemon right here and weaken them severely. So uh, The Pokemon I would most want to burn would be um, Landorus. If I can burn that thing, that means that uh, Ampharos can set up an agility and sweep the team. Let's see if we can pull it off. We got the Metagross weakened. Uh, we know that the T-Tar is Scarfed, so we do outspeed it with uh, Ampharos at plus two. And uh, we know that Suicune does not appreciate one being in here right now. What the heck? Let me go for Taunt on his potential Calm Mind as he goes for a Substitute. Okay, cool. So we catch that. Wait a minute. Is this is this Smackdown Landorus and Sub Suicune? Is this Chimp stuff? It could be. Now, we are Spadef, so I'm just going to go for a Recover. We should be able to take his Scald, no problem. Uh, if he does burn us, that's a little unfortunate, but... Nothing I can do about that. Uh, we'll go for Will-O-Wisp. And uh, the good news is, is if he stays in here um, and he knocks out Sableye while he's taunted, yeah, I, I figured that would happen. Yep, there's the Latios. Okay. Um, so we'll just go for a Recover right here, I think. Yeah, Recover is fine. As uh, my opponent also goes for a Recover, so very nice play. And we'll go for a knockoff on this turn. He goes for a Draco Meteor. It is able to knock us out. Wow, okay. And uh, I think Espeon's pretty safe, actually. And we'll go for a Baton Pass from there. Yeah, we'll go into Espeon and we'll go for the Baton Pass. If he Dracos me again, then I can set up an Agility with Amphros and hopefully win. Uh, Lando's at 22, so we can definitely win. Uh, just need to get a little more damage off on that Metagross, though. That's the big thing, is the Metagross. I really hope he Dracos again. That would be awesome. That would actually pretty much ensure us the win at that point. Hopefully, let's see what uh, let's see what happens. But the sand is going to be very annoying. I think that's that's the big factor is that my opponent has sand on his side, so uh, Amphros is going to be taking six percent every single turn. That's not going to be uh, extremely doable. He does miss a Draco meteor actually as we go for a Baton Pass, um, which is not what I wanted actually. I didn't want him to miss. Uh, I'm going to go out into Togekiss, get some leftovers. I don't know if his Psy Shock knocks us out um, to Togekiss. Let's see, Stallbreaker. Um, it has a chance not to, and I think I'm willing to take that chance and just go for a Roost. As my opponent pulls a switch into Metagross, actually. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, what we can do here is go into Arcanine on the Meteor Mash that I know is coming. He also has Hammer Arm, so what, what would his last move be? Ice Punch? Maybe. 
Gonna get off the Intimidate right here on the Zen Headbutt, actually. He goes for Zen. Um, it's surprising that it did that little, actually. <laughs> Which means that I can just go for a, uh, I think, Morning Sun, yeah. I'm just gonna Morning Sun up here. As my opponent goes into T-Tar, that's absolutely fine. We do know that he's faster than us, uh, so he will be able to get off a Stone Edge right here. He only has three left, though. So let me go for Wisp. He misses the Edge. Wow, that's huge. As we miss Will-O-Wisp, uh, but it's still pretty big that he missed that edge. Uh, I'll tell you why, because now he only has two left and he's locked in here. As he misses another edge. Wow, as we miss another Wisp. <laughs> Crazy. Now, here's the thing. If he allows me to uh, go for a Wisp on him right here, th this is what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Morning Sun, because he's going to go for Stone Edge. If he hits, great. Then he knocks us out. If he doesn't hit then I get I get healed and if he knocks us out then I get to go into Ampharos he has no stone edges left I get to set up an agility so I'm gonna go for morning sun he hits stone edge but now he has none left so Ampharos is gonna come in here I'm gonna go for the agility on this thing and uh, now he's gonna have to pick uh, his sands about to end as well by the way guys Lando's gonna come in I'm gonna get off an agility right here we're not gonna take any sand damage which is awesome and we're going to go for the D-Pulse, knock this thing out. There we go. There goes the Lando. Awesome. Now, I need to know how much this does from uh, Ampharos. Mega Ampharos, physically defensive without the physical inf uh, defense investment, because we don't have it. Uh, we do have a little bit of attack. <coughs> Excuse me, of special attack. We're at 371 against Metagross. All-out attacker. Let's see. Uh, Zen Headbutt does not knock us out. Uh, if we're bold, but we're not. We're, tim oh, we're timid, right? Okay, it does 46 to 54. We're at 56. I think he knows that. I think he knows that, and that's why he's going out into this. Okay, well, let's go into... Yeah, I think we go Togekiss, right? Is that the play? Well, how much does our Thunderbolt do to uh, Metagross? Volt Switch does that much. Thunderbolt, I don't think, knocks it out at all. Um, 46 to 55. This is why I need a little more damage on the Metagross. Because now I'm going to go for Focus Blast. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to knock out his T-Tar, but I'm going to take Sand Damage, and that puts me into range of Metagross's uh, Zen Headbutt, which is the annoying thing. <laughs> so, unless we can crit the Thunderbolt or Para and full Para. Uh, no, just a, just a crit. Yeah, or Para and full Para would win us the game. Because Suicune's pretty low. Let's go for Thunderbolt. He can also miss. Uh, we do not get the... Uh... Now he hits it. Yeah, that's the end of the game. Um, unless he misses Mash. Because I can still bring th bring this back with Togekiss. Uh, yeah, we have to play off the, the Mash miss. So, what do we do here? I think we go into... Do we go into Espeon first? No, I'm going to go into Togekiss first. Because Air Slash should kill uh, from 16%. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Togekiss, Stallbreaker, Air Slash, 14 to 16. Oof, that's close. <laughs> we'll go for the Slash. He hits the Mash, though. And uh, Espeon can't bring this back on, on its own. There's no way. Not against uh, a Suicune. And it, this thing doesn't have any recovery at all. So there's the next Mash, and that's going to be GG to my opponent. Uh, yeah, we'll get one more. Hopefully a little bit faster this time. If I had Stealth Rocks, man. If I had Stealth Rocks, that game would have looked a lot different. All right, we got a Megalopony, which is another thing that uh, plus two Ampharos outspeeds, as well as plus one Gyarados. So there's a lot of setup on this team, if you haven't noticed. Um, I'm going to lead off here with uh, Espeon, I think, is the best lead. Against the Excadrill, okay. Not too bad. Could be worse. Um, now, I feel like an Iron Head is coming, or a Rock Slide. And not an Earthquake, because I can switch into Gyarados or Togekiss. So, one of those two. We'll go for, um, I feel like he's Scarfed. I think I, I think I just want a Psychic here. As we are faster. Okay, so he's a Spideff variant. He goes for Stealth Rocks. Oh, we're not Magic Bounce. Are you serious? What? No way. No, we are Magic Bounce. Oh, right, he's, he's Mold Breaker. Yeah, 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 he breaks through that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, we do have a, uh, a Defogger. Uh, I'm gonna go for Calm Mind right here. As he should just attack at this point. He goes for Toxic. So he's able to break through again because of Mold Breaker. And now we're going to go for a Hidden Power Fighting. 
as we're able to do 43% of this Excadrill. He's going to go for Earthquake, that's fine. Uh, Togekiss outspeeds this because Espeon is outspeeding it. I'm actually going to go for a Psychic right here as he decides to stay in. Uh, as he goes for another Earthquake, that's fine. I'm assuming the last move is uh, Iron Head. I'm going to go into Togekiss right here. We're going to immediately get rid of these rocks because I do not want them up on my side. As we'll be able to hit Air Slashes now as well. He goes for the Toxic. I'm going to go for the Air Slash here. Try to flinch him down. As he gets flinched on the first one. There we go. We are Serene Grace, right? Yeah, okay, good. Um, let's just go for a Nasty Plot here. As he goes for Stealth Rocks again. He's probably just going to infinitely click Stealth Rocks. I'm just going to go for an Air Slash here. Uh, he has no other play but to click Stealth Rocks. That should be his play in theory. Just repeatedly click it. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so what we're going to do is just knock this thing out. We'll play with uh, a couple fewer Mons. Uh, I'm fully expecting the Kyurem to come out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Arcanine first. Kyurem has the best matchup, but I'm expecting it to be choiced in some way. So what I'll do is I'll pull a switch out into Gyarados here. Earth Power can't hit us. And he goes for... Draco Meteor. Okay. <laughs> Straight knocks us out. Alright. Um, I can't win this match. There's no, there's no way I can win this. I'm just going to go for the knockoff right here. As my opponent decides to switch out into Clefable. Good play. Going to get rid of the leftovers. Awesome. I'm thinking this thing is uh, Magic Guard, so there's no point in clicking anything but Taunt. He's probably just going to Moonblast here. He goes for knockoff. Wow, okay. Let me go for a Wisp as we miss, so we don't get to find out. Goes for a Moonblast. I'm going to Wisp again. Let's see what he is. Goes for another knockoff. Does he take the burn damage? No, he does not. Okay. All right, we'll go into Arcanine. Uh, we'll go for a Morning Sun right here. There's nothing I can do anyway, guys. Like, this game is, is far over. Uh, I'm just going to Flare Blitz this time as he goes for a knockoff. If he lets me weaken his Clef, Ampharos has a chance. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, Ampharos definitely has a chance. We'll go for another Flare Blitz. Ampharos always has a chance to win, man. You can never underestimate that thing. Uh, as he's just going to soft boiled spam me anyway. Which is fine because I'm going to uh, I'm gonna start clicking uh, Will O Wisp and not killing myself to uh, to recoil. Let's click Wisp again as he goes into Kyurem. This thing should lock itself into Earth Power in theory. Uh, we'll go for a Morning Sun as he goes for a Draco Meteor, okay. Uh, and we'll go into Ampharos. We will not Mega Evolve because it'll be stronger on us if we Mega Evolve. Uh, I'll just go for Agility here as he goes for another Draco Meteor. Lowers his special attack again. I'm gonna go for an Agility. And uh, Fake Out's pretty much going to finish us off. But let me just click... I think I click Thunderbolt here, right? Um, no, let's go for Pulse. He's sacking this anyway. Uh, as he hits another Draco and he's able to knock us out. I didn't Mega Evolve there, guys, because I wanted to potentially get a Static off on the Lopany. But it uh, turns out that Dragon Pulse does not knock out Kirim. And uh, that's going to do it. So uh, there's Eric's team for you. Uh, we'll move on to the next one uh, next episode, which is probably going to either be Jose's or Rob's, uh, one of my closer friends. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.